episode eight, Partners in Time, and what the hell did I, like, what the bloody hell did we just watch? Um, it's your boy Icon with some DC TV. What the hell was this? Um, and I like The Flash. I love The Flash, <laughs> but for the love of God, um, thank goodness for April 26th, because after this episode, we're taking a break, and then we're getting into the final four. Um, actually, no, the final five. The final five episodes of The Flash, and Oliver Queen is back, <laughs> thank God, which means if Oliver Queen is back, and if they're talking about the Arrowverse is going to ride one more time, then that means the last five episodes are actually going to have a story arc, just like the Red Death Saga. And everything we got in the middle was fluff. Thank goodness. So let's get the last piece of fluffery out of the way and discuss this episode of The Flash. And I have no idea what to say about this episode because the villain defeated themselves. <laughs> like The villain in this episode defeated themselves. But all right, there are a couple of things happen. So let's, let's just get into it. First of all, Darth Vader in the future raided the Flash Museum. <laughs> and when Darth Vader um, like stole from the Flash Museum, it stole like a time magnet from the Flash Museum. And then it came to the present because it had to steal something else and some other stuff. So the person that stole the magnet ended up coming to the present and disguised itself as an electrician because the Flash Museum is doing an inspection, like a mole inspection. And the mole inspector showed up, but because the mole inspector showed up, it actually prompt like every single like government official in the city to come and do it. They did a full inspection on the Flash Museum. Now, while they're in the Flash Museum, one particular person who was supposed to be the electrician, she comes over and she's just like, hey, I just got finished checking the box thingy that has the electrical stuff. And I'm just like, why did we not? At that point, something should have gone off in like Iris or Barry's head. Iris was there because she was eating up all the food. Barry tried to take the gang into the next room so they can do more inspections in the next room. But for some reason, every time they tried to leave the room, they kept coming back to the speed lab. It was just like a cycle of them coming back to the speed lab and then everybody started freaking out. Now, once everybody started freaking out, because the thing is, now Barry throughout the course of the entire series of The Flash, like every season, he at least tells one person who he is. He reveals his identity to somebody. This is the one situation where it actually made perfect sense of why he would reveal his secret identity to somebody. Because when that entire group got trapped in the time vault, in the speed lab, because there was a situation where they were trapped in it, they were they basically stuck in time, and a time magnet was pulling objects throughout time to their location, but they couldn't leave their location. So now because this is going on, and they have to figure out how to get everybody out of this time situation that they're in, there's no way you can do that without letting them know that you're the Flash. So it made perfect sense why he told the whole group that, the, that, that he was the Flash. And then everybody was like, wow, I've never met a superhero before. And there was this one woman, she because she had, she had the mathematical expertise, <laughs> you know, in order to solve the problem. And then when she saw that Barry was the Flash, she was like, oh, I'd like to study your biometrics one day when we get out of here and then iris looked at her like bitch <laughs> you know so and then after that so they they basically just they basically came up with the, they were just like hey we figured it out what happens is, is that you know again there's a time magnet in here somewhere and time's being pulled in they found out that in the future there was a time magnet in the star archives for the you know for, for star labs and then it was just like well if a time magnet is pulling us here that means somebody in this room stole it and somebody has the time magnet then the other people who weren't the time thief ended up disappearing one by one until one person was left. And then that's when Barry remembered that the, that the electrician didn't know what an electrical box was. And he was like, oh, this is obviously the time thief. And then she revealed herself to be Lady Kronos. And when she said Lady Kronos, I immediately thought about the Justice League animated series episode where Kronos, Batman, and Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman ended up going into the past and in the future. Then we saw the old static and the Batman Beyond and the whole thing. So Kronos, this is basically a descendant from that Kronos because now she's Lady Kronos. So that was a cool little Easter egg because Kronos was a time thief and she's a time thief. So she was just like, yeah, she said that, you know, she tried to go into the, into the Flash Museum in the future, but she got stuck because of the protocols and because of the security. So she ended up coming to this point in time so she can pretend to be an electrician, get into Star Labs. Because she's in the present in the Speed Lab and she uses her time belt to go to this exact moment in the future, She'll just pop up to where the time magnet is and then she can just snatch it and just come right back, which is what she did. But because she stole it, she didn't have time to steal the stabilizer that goes with it. And because she didn't have the stabilizer, items were being pulled from the future and everybody was trapped in the whole thing. So basically in the end, this is the crazy part about it. Like the Flash didn't do something miraculous. Iris didn't come up with some crazy, you know, like cockamamie scheme. Basically how they defeated the villain was her time belt ran out of power. 
and they were trying to figure out, you know, what sh what they could do to save everybody. And then they were just Barry was like, "Why don't you just put the damn thing back where it belongs, and it'll stabilize time?" And she was like, "No, you know, because like I stole this fair and square and blah blah blah." But then she was just like, "Even if I wanted to, my belt is out of power, and I can't go back to the future because the time magnet is becoming unstable. It's gonna start erasing everybody in this room from existence, and they were all about to die." And she said, "Because she's been around the time magnet the longest, she's gonna be the next person to die." And she didn't want to die, so Barry was like, "Look, I can." recharge your belt using my speed power but then you got to put the damn thing back so he recharged the belt and then she put the damn bed she put it back and she was like as soon as i put this back i'm gonna get arrested and he was like well she didn't stole it so <laughs> then she goes into the future she puts it back and then time resets itself and i'm just like that had to have been the easiest victory that t flash has ever had he didn't even do like the she defeated herself by stealing the time magnet without the stabilizing agent and she put herself in a position where she had to return it I was just like, we could have solved this in the first 15 minutes of the episode. But one thing that did happen, and I think this is going to mean something when we actually get the Arrowverse crossover in the final five episodes. Because when because when they got trapped in that whole time bubble thing and those on all those items started getting pulled from different points of time, Iris actually said, she was like, wait, first you and I are stuck in a time loop, then me and Nia get stuck in some crazy dream, and now we're doing the Lady Kronos thing. She didn't say that for no reason. And I like to feel like because she mentioned, because she went out of her way to mention it, those three situations are going to end up meaning something later on. Like there's probably going to be a situation where we're going to have to find Lady Kronos again or we're going to have to bring back Dreamer. Something's going to happen because like, she didn't bring that up for no reason. But anyway, that was it. You know, everything got put back to normal. The actual inspector showed up. And because time reset itself, everybody forgot that Barry was the Flash. And they went and inspected Star Labs. Star Labs got the inspection. Now they're the cleanest, safest facility on the planet. Keon ended up going to talk to her mama and you know she was just like oh what if I screw up just like she said what if I say the wrong thing to chase her away like I chased away Mark and I'm like first of all you were mad at Mark like I hated how in the Mark situation they're trying to make Keon seem like you know she was the victim here because Mark said what he said about Killer Frost she chastised him for it he apologized the whole team flash ridiculed him for it and now she's like oh I chased him away yeah you kind of did <laughs> you know and then Allegra and Chuck are there Chuck said he loved Allegra she freaked out because she still has PSD for her past relationships but then she was just like oh that's my baggage Chuck not yours she told him she loved him back the two of them kissed and they about to get it on and have some ultraviolet you know nerd sex so <laughs> that was pretty much it and thank you for tuning in and for the love of god oliver queen is back <laughs> that's the only thing i'm waiting for we get in a break because this is like what the the 10th the 8th the 9th the 10th so we're gonna the flash is gonna be gone for like 18 days we're not getting the flash back for another 18 days and when it comes back we're getting oliver queen and something's gonna happen some big bad some real shit is finally going down ladies and gentlemen on the flash and i'm looking forward to it i got my arrow t-shirt ready and i'm ready to say goodbye to the greatest superhero of all time the goat of superhero television oliver queen so share your questions comment comments and more concerns down below let me know what you thought about this particular episode of the flash i got my super mario brothers review on the channel i got my superman and lois review on the channel because superman and lois is killing it and titans is coming back before the flash resumes so we'll be doing superman and lois and titans thank god so thanks for tuning in guys until next time i'll see you on the 26th we'll be back in the next